Don't you want to mingle? Christian mingle? <gasps> I was mortified when those words came out of my mother's mouth this past summer. Love you, mom. She just wants me to be happy. But can I be happy being single right now? Many of us experience this pressure to be in a relationship in a variety of ways. Why? Oftentimes, when well-intended people ask me about my love life, I get the head tilt and they raise their voice an octave as they whisper, oh, that's okay. Yeah, I know, thank you, that's okay. It's as if the world thinks that I have less to offer as a single person. The more dating experience you have, the more you must know about love. My successes, my education, and even my happiness are incomplete because I don't have someone to celebrate Valentine's Day with. I started to question a few things. Has not being in a relationship kept me from loving all these years? Who have I loved? Am I doing something wrong? It can take just one question to spiral into this mentality that something must be wrong with you if you're single. Dating and love are not synonymous. I believe that there are many people who have had relationship after relationship and yet haven't truly loved. On the other hand, I know people who have not dated a day in their life but have experienced a love that people only dream of. Every single human being has love to offer. Friendship calls us to will the good of another. Regardless of a relationship status, everyone is able to love in this way. I challenge you to choose somebody who you've been meaning to reach out to. It could be an old friend, someone you've lost touch with, or a new classmate. It's too easy to get comfortable in your own circle. Reach out to someone on the outside. We are called to love and it begins now. Hey there, culture. This is Hannah from LA. Keeping it real. Or not. <laughs> or not. Being up. 